Hi, I'm Sarah Blackburn and this is my oscillator project. For this project, I will be making a square wave oscillator using a breadboard to connect all the different components. And I'm using all the materials that are laid out right here. I have a 9 volt battery, a 555 timer chip on the breadboard, um, capacitors, resistors, and a variable resistor and a speaker, and then connector wires, like that. Um, I'm using a schematic that was provided to connect all of these components. First, I will take the 9 volt battery and take the positive side, the red wire, to the red column on the breadboard, and the negative wire, which on which is connected to the negative side of the battery into the blue column. Then pin one on the timer chip which is marked by the little dot. It is going to be connected um, to the speaker on the same row. And with a connector wire, pin one to the negative side of the battery, the blue column. And I will be plugging in the capacitor to pin one to one side of it. Then pin 2, I'm plugging in the other side of the capacitor on that row. And I'm taking a connecting wire from pin 2's row to pin 6. So there's that. Um, pin 3, I'm plugging in the other side of the speaker, the other wire. There's that one. And then pin 4 and pin 5 don't have a connection. Pin 6 already has one connection from pin 2 on it. And then I will be plugging one side of the 100k variable resistor into this row. And then pin 7, I'm plugging in the other wire from the variable resistor into it and then between pins 7 and 8 I am plugging in a brown black red and gold resistor And then a wire from pin 8 to the red column to finish off the circuit. And there you can hear it works. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so now since I have the oscillator going, I'm going to make a human controlled oscillator by disconnecting one side of the variable resistor and replacing that with a connecting cable and a connecting wire. And I'm putting that in where I took the other wire out at the same spot. So then when I put these two wires together, the one I just plugged in and the one from the variable resistor, I get a signal. So then you can hear... the circuit is still there and then I can control it with my fingers if I put my fingers on both sides so I get a nice little noise so there we go and now it looks like this So there is my oscillator project.